Hi, I'm Bryce Wemple from HP. Um, today I'm going to talk about our new uh, Musmark server. Uh, we've made a number of improvements on our second generation Musmark server. Um, one of the biggest improvements in hardware is we've a added a faster processor. It's now an Intel-based processor running at 2 gigahertz. Uh, we've added more memory to the unit, so it now has 2 gigs of RAM uh, versus uh, just 512 that was in the first product. So that was a big improvement. Uh, we've added many new software features. Uh, just to highlight a couple, we've added backup for the Macintosh now. So using uh, Time Machine, you can back up your PC, or your, excuse me, your Macintosh uh, to the MediaSmart server uh, using the Time Machine features. Um, we've also added the ability to stream remotely, so we have a new um, remote access page. So when you log into your server remotely, uh, you can choose to upload, download files like you could in the first generation product, but now uh, we've added the ability to stream music and photos remotely uh, to virtually any browser if you're on the road. So you can take your uh, Safari or uh, log in with uh, Internet Explorer into your server uh, back at home, access your music. I can show you that real quick. Oh, and yeah. uh, on, the, on the first generation product, there was uh, some similar functionality with photos uh, on the PC yeah, side. Yes, so there was ability. So that, that's been enhanced, I yeah, guess? Yeah, we've also enhanced that. So this is specifically the ability to, to stream your photos um, and enjoy them remotely, as well as uh, stream music. So I could show the interface real quick. Uh, so this is what the uh, interface looks like. Again, this is a web-based application, so it runs an IE6, IE7, Firefox, Safari, um, and I can access my music. Um, it'll bring up the album art for me and play uh, play for me. And this is actually playing remotely from a server back in uh, my back in my office in Colorado. So that's one of the cool new features. So before you had to actually download the files before you can enjoy them. Now you can enjoy them basically uh, on the fly. Um, does that uh, does that do any transcoding of the audio, or does it play it at its native bit rate? Uh, it actually, actually does transcoding. Um, transcodes all the audio formats into uh, MP3. Uh, okay. Supports AAC. MP3, of course, uh, and WAVE, and then it transcodes them into a standard MP3 file. Like um, at a lower bit rate to basically save on bandwidth? It's at okay, okay, 128. Yeah. Okay, good yep. to know. Uh, and then for photos, all the photos are transcoded into uh, standard JPEGs. Okay. Uh, can, does the MediaSmart server, is it able to read anything like RAW files or, or PNGs or you know any other formats that a customer might have? Um, so we support a number of different uh, photo formats and audio formats and video formats for the streaming portion, which I can talk about in a minute. Okay. Um, so most of the popular formats are supported. Uh, for more specific format information, you can go to our website and take a look and get the specific uh, formats that we support. A couple of the other cool things we've added with this new version is uh, some enhancements to our uh, MediaSmart server tab. Um, so now we have sort of an overall status page that shows you information about the server tells you if there's any issues with the server, tells you um, your storage um, capacities, also lets you manage the power of the server. So now you can actually tell the server to go to sleep at specific times of the day or night. So you can oh. schedule it to go to sleep and save power. So if you don't need your server in the middle of the night, which most people don't, right, right. you can schedule it to go to sleep. Um, and then it, when, it's, uh, when it's asleep, it only uses one watt of power. So okay. that's one of the exciting new features. Um, now, I have a question about that. Sure. Most of the... Um, the automated backups typically occur kind of around midnight or after yes. midnight. Uh, so I guess if you change that, is there any intelligence to change the automatic backup time or would I have to manually change it for each computer? It actually wakes up the server, does okay. the backup, and puts the server back to sleep. Okay, okay, so you don't need to really worry about changing the backup times, it'll just sort no. of so handle if, that. If, if the, the sleep time overlaps the backup time, right. then the server will wake up, do the backup, and then go back to sleep. So okay. Uh, one of the other features we've added is the ability to collect uh, music photos and videos from uh, a PC and uh, consolidate them and collect them onto the server. Um, so this is the page that explains sort of how the feature works. Um, and then basically you can tell it to collect my photos or my, my music, for example, and then organize them on the server. For example, with music, it'll organize them by the ID3 tags into an album artist track organization or photos by, uh, by date, so by year and by month. Now, if you already have your photos already organized the way you want them, you can leave the existing organization, and then it'll just make copies of your existing directory structure over on the server. So you can basically have uh, uh, one central location for all your your photos and your music and video, mm -hmm. uh, but you don't have to go manually find them. It'll scan the hard drive, look for them, and then move them over uh, to or copy them over to the server. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, so as in it does that on on the client. You're not you're not saying there's going to be two copies of everything on the server. 
No, it's, that's right. It's, that's right. So if you had multiple computers with right. a sort of music, it would sort of collect it, them it, and it has some intelligence push, push them to up to the server. For duplicate files. Okay, interesting. And uh, what are the, there, there's two different configurations of, of yeah. the server? Yeah, so we're offering it with one or two drives uh, from the factory. Um, they're both 750 gig drives. The uh, single drive version is 599 and the two drive version is 749. Okay, excellent. And uh, when will these be available at uh, retail? Uh, we're planning to have them uh, in, in the market here in the next few weeks. Uh, okay. You can pre-order them right now from most retailers, uh, including HP Shopping, Amazon, New Age. Um, and they'll be uh, shipping out to customers uh, hopefully by the end of the month. Okay, excellent. Thank you for your time. You're welcome.